And so we work with the people in rehabilitating the land with what we call half moons. And now we have the head of the World Food Program, David Beasley, was on a trip to West Africa. He'd been in Burkina Faso and then was in Niger, two countries blighted by conflict and hunger, when he heard the news. I mean, this is the first time in my life I've been speechless. I mean, <laughs> I mean this is unbelievable. Talk about uh, the most exciting point in time in your life is the Nobel Peace Prize. And it's because of the WFP family. They're out there in the most difficult, complex places on, in the world, whether it's war, conflict, climate extremes, it doesn't matter. They're out there and they deserve this award. And, and wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. Before the Nobel announcement, some had predicted the Peace Prize might go to the World Health Organization, but that would have been controversial. The agency and its head, Dr. Tedros, are at the center of disputes between the US and China, with the Trump administration pulling its funding. Instead, another part of the UN family deeply impacted by COVID-19 was chosen. For its efforts to combat hunger, for its contribution to bettering conditions for peace in conflict-affected areas, and for acting as a driving force in efforts to prevent the use of hunger as a weapon of war and conflict. The World Food Programme has had a major logistical challenge delivering food this year, with large parts of the global shipping and aviation networks closed. Instead, it's had to find alternatives. One expert told me WFP is currently probably the largest airline in Africa. The award goes to the agency for its work and to all its 17,000 staff. But executive director David Beasley has been a bold and passionate leader, repeatedly linking conflict and hunger in his speeches in the UN Security Council. The job has, since the 1980s, always gone to an American. Mr. Beasley is a former Republican governor of South Carolina who knows President Trump well. He's had a difficult year, himself contracting COVID-19 early in the pandemic, but he ends it with the presentation of the award in December, recognition of the agency's ever-growing workload. James Bays, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations. You want it. It's all of us.